Well, to celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we're taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20, 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. For our fifth installment, we look back at the year 2002. It was the year of a terrible flood in Roseau. As much as 12 inches of rain fell on the area over the days of June 9th and June 10th. The Roseau River would crest at 23.4 feet, 7 feet over flood stage. On June 11th, the sandbag dike broke and most of the city was flooded. Still, residents kept fighting the flood and were able to save the school, hospital and Polaris Industries factory as well. We've kept the water out of the factory. We're dealing with some, some um, water on the floors that we're cleaning up right now. Uh, we can get back to operation. The hospital has been saved. The school has been saved. The wastewater treatment plant has not been saved, but the water treatment plant has been saved. The recovery process is probably not going to happen for a couple of days. We are in the planning process and we are planning in that efforts. We are capturing ground inch by inch and I hope that Mother Nature and with the decline in the river will eventually start capturing it foot by foot. Intern reporter Cheryl Chepkes and reporter Melissa Muntz brought us stories on back-to-back -back nights. You can watch both those stories on our website at lptv.org that will be there tomorrow. Rosa would end up losing its police department library, museum, and city hall, as well as many businesses and homes in that 2002 flood. More than 70 structures were removed after the flood due to damage sustained. The city now has new public infrastructure and flood diversion plan in place to prevent future floods from happening. Next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from the year 2003. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.